Hi Pisceans, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing your January 2019 tarot prediction. Hope you guys had a happy Christmas. No, Merry Christmas, right? And a Happy New Year. So anyway, guys, let's get into it. Let's see what you're dealing with. I don't even know what to drink anymore, to drink coffee, to start celebrating holidays, drink something else. But anyway, let's get started. This is your Twin Flame reading. Let's look at two sides of the connection, at the connective energy, and we go from there. Let's see. Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Also watch it if you are a Sun of Jeweler or Pisces. If you're a little bit more into astrology and you know that. And also guys, um, I'm doing, tonight is night four of my 40 day soulmate meditation. So be welcome, you know, to join. I do it on IGTV, not on IGTV, sorry, on Instagram live stream. So join me there, it's Astro in Wonderland. So, and anyway, let's see. First side of the connection here. We have here King of Swords and Three of Cups. I sense that there is a masculine side here who is kind of coming out of stagnation, coming out of this dark energy and is like loosening up a little. So I feel like if this King of Swords was very inexpressive, kind of like work, 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 logic, 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 they're slowly starting to open up a little bit. They're starting to, you know, being a little bit more like, um, you know, open to have fun. I don't feel like... It's anything measured, but I feel like they are lightening, light, lightening, light, lightening up. <laughs> Let's look at second side of the connection, guys. Oh, card wants to fly out. Page of Pentacles. This person is like, you know, I need an offer, or if I'm not getting an offer, I'm out of here. I feel like they received something recently, whether from this person or from another person, and they are like, you know, so what do I do with it? Do I take this offer? Do I take this offer? Even though this page of pentacles is really read as somebody who has uh, options, I feel in this particular position, this person has multiple options. There is different people who are currently after this person. There is people who, you know, offering this person things. So he's starting, he or she, this side of the connection, really starting to understand their worth. Let's look at the connective energy between the two people here. We have here seven of swords. Something is not being fully expressed. Something is not being fully said. I hate seeing seven of swords. Honestly, the connective energy because what it shows is that um, it doesn't always represent third party and cheating, even though it can represent with three of cups here. So if you know you have third party, you have a third party. If you know that there is no third party, there is no third party. I personally don't like to focus on third parties in my readings because I feel like this way you only give energy to what you don't want to manifest. This way you kind of like focus on what you don't want and it's not very smart because at the end of the day, if you're a high level soulmate twin flame connection, nobody is like you. Nobody can ever you know, come even close to what you represent to this person. You are a goddess, you are his queen, and everything else is just, you know, they could be important partners because they're teaching them lessons, but what I'm trying to say, it's not here to just put shade on everybody, right? Which is why, like, when we get triggered, and I'm a Scorpio, and I get triggered, you don't want to see the things I'm capable of saying, <laughs> you know? So, but at the same time, you know, they can never come even close to the connection that you have with this person. But with this Seven of Swords, it's a feeling of not telling the truth, not properly, you know, expressing something. Let's see a little bit more. I want to look into a little bit deeper into the Seven of Swords. What is it about? I have Knight of Wands. I have a feeling somebody here just, okay, Six of Wands and King of Cups together with Page of Cups and Four of Cups. I have a feeling that this person... Like, again, I don't know what's up with this. Everybody is like has two two personalities, two sides in this reading. Because I forget who's Taurus, I think, reading. Which Taurus as well? Because Taurus was also dealing with a person with multiple personalities. I have a feeling that this person has this very emotional, very nurturing, very soft, even shy side. And another side of them is this very... Like, they could sleep around, they could go for one night stand, but the thing is, you almost like don't see it coming. Like, when they're in this one night stand energy, you almost like wouldn't understand how, like, they could be also so sensitive. And when they're in the sensitive energy, you don't understand how this kind of person can do one night stand. Something like about this, like, is not very clear about how they do their energy. And I feel like somebody here is also left just, huh? Like, well, what is it about, you know? I feel like somebody here is fed up with another person too. I feel like this side is the masculine. I rarely identify them in my reading. But I think this is the masculine side and this is the feminine side, Page of Pentacles. So let's see how the masculine side feels about the feminine. Five of Pentacles. 
here are fans and the wheel of fortune let's take one more eight of cups and knight of swords what i sense also we have here okay these cards want to come out page of wands and two of wands all right i'm getting there was a situation where somebody maybe even given an ultimatum or something of that nature or somebody just said you know what i'm moving on with my life if i'm not receiving what i want i feel this person couldn't offer you what you want because they're in the energy of five of pentacles they probably are not financially stable as much as they want to be at the moment or there is just in general and i like there is something about them that is not stable at the moment there is something about them where they just don't have enough to offer you and i feel like they do see you as the scare of fans together with the full of fortune like with somebody who could be finally the reason why they change for somebody they finally settled down with but at the same time i feel like they just don't have like it's not the right time i right now can blah 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 i know how the story goes um and they feel like you are leaving you know they know that you are done there is also this energy page of wands and two once they realize that you have future ahead of you they realize you have other offers you know besides their offer ahead of you they realize you're a person who is young like even if you're whatever age you're watching you could be just young at heart and there is a lot for you to explore and they cannot really hold you back anymore and at this but they still have feelings for you of course so they still kind of like trying to see what they could do and then they feel all this pain and then they go towards someone else it's a mess really of an energy like i really don't like this at all it's like this person deep down knows that they want to be with you only you they recognize on some level you as their twin flame soulmate even if they don't know this but at the same time they know that right now is not the right time they cannot deal with it and they go towards different connections meaningless connection i mean i'm not saying they're completely meaningless of course they feel something to these people but it's nothing like you none of these people they're connecting with are anywhere even close to who you are for this person and what happens is they go into this messy energy they don't fully tell you what they feel i feel like some of them have been told you that you know what i don't really care about you i don't really have this kind of feelings for you it was a lie it's seven of swords it's a lie and you you know when person when they tell you you don't they don't love you you know when it's the truth you can feel it because it hurts but sometimes you can feel not a hurt but just um a feeling like what a freaking jerk you are you cannot even speak the truth to me it's a different feeling like it's still not a pleasant feeling when let's say you know like a person tells you they don't love you or they don't want you in a way but when you know they lie and a woman always have very strong sixth sense a woman should always trust her sixth sense above what any man tells her of course listen to what he tells you to assess his behavior or how mature he is but never ever put any man's words or actions above your sixth sense because your sixth sense is how God speaks to you, how angels speak to you. And woman has this natural connection with this energy that not all men have. More men who have who are spiritual who do the spiritual work or in their feminine energy, yes, they can have it. But woman just have it by, by birthright, by just by nature of being a woman. So never put, never you know, never basically like and. I feel that this person told you something like, oh, I don't want anything to do with you. I don't love you like that. It was a lie. It was a lie. So let's see how uh, the feminine feels towards the masculine. Temperance. Five of Cups. The World. The Fool. Five of Wands. Chariot. I realize I feel like some of you are realizing that there is higher forces at work. You've done everything you could do. Your truth is on your side. There is nothing you need to be scared of because the universe will take care of the rest. You understand that you've came full circle with this person and there is a, even if there is ever going to be anything in the future, it will be a completely new beginning. It will be a different beginning. It will be a different cycle. Maybe there won't be a new beginning at all maybe you decided to completely move on because the chariot here represents also ascension. It's ascension towards a different level of consciousness. You understand that you cannot stay where you were before. You can only go towards a new place, start a new journey with this place if this person is ready to start a new path with you, a completely different dynamic. Nothing, 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 nothing can be like it used to be before. Everything has to be almost like a new relationship, two new people, new meeting, new foundation. Everything has to be completely rebuilt here from scratch if it can work. Because you realize about the, this divine masculine that he's so disconnected at the moment from his true self, from his soul, that he's just in the sadness and energy he doesn't show it but what he shows to the world is this five of wands i don't know why guys i always come back 
<laughs> like in every video, if you watch my videos, I always come back to a movie, last Star Wars, if you like it, great. If you don't, it's not even about the movie. It's about like when I watched it, I was like, oh my God, are they twin flames? The, you know, <laughs> Kylo and Rey, <laughs> like, because they have a lot of also like this confidence that I was like, oh my God, this is like a relationship that I know something about. Because you know how when he was sad and when he was hurt, instead of showing this five of cups that really what he was was a hurt boy you know who was just hurt and who was triggered but he was showing this five of wands that he's this monster who will just destroy everyone and this i feel like some of these divine masculines are in this energy in this lower vibration now but you can't deal with it anymore you're starting a new cycle you're starting fresh you're going towards a new place you are more stable than ever you are more smart than ever and you're just not going to deal with this um you know energy anymore but it doesn't mean that everything is over because I feel like there could be a complete new beginning given that you both ascend. Not just one person ascends, both people ascend here. And never try to like, because I had a conversation, honestly, um, maybe like a week ago with my friend who was also dealing, you know, with a twin flame situation. It was like, a, a, excuse my language, S-I-H-I-T -S show. <laughs> you know what I said, like, right? And uh, she was saying that she's a really nice girl very spiritual very beautiful very family oriented amazing 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 if you ever saw her like and met her you would never believe that this is what she's going through in her life because she's like a doll like i adore her i love her so and it's the guy just treated her so poorly he put some other women above her which are like i don't want to say trashy things about these women but she is like you know a doll she's amazing kind person he was just going out with girls like who also on drugs on this and this and that and you know and she told me something she was like well i was trying to be just like them for him and i was like no 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 never lower yourself to that level maybe yes it could be easier to get into you know some kind of relationship with them but it wouldn't be a divine union there would be nothing divine about it because the whole purpose of divine union is about ascending not descending if you're both descending it might not be as well be even a twin flame but just you know an abusive relationship that you know you call it twin flame twin flames are ascending twin flames are helping each other heal you know so think about it let's see what is the blockage main blockage of this connection for Pisces. the magician your words your thoughts are becoming your reality you gotta watch your thoughts you gotta watch what you're manifesting what you give attention to very very important as above so is below we have here Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity to start a new beginning, an opportunity to start something fresh, an opportunity to start a whole new journey, start, like I said, everything from scratch. There can be such opportunity given that people surrender here and just let go and let God and let just, you know, the universe put them on their path. Because, you know, this whole resistance is happening only because somebody here is, uh, you know, not fully uh, letting themselves come to their spiritual path, that they're still in lower vibration. If a person was in lower vibration, there would be no issue so there's resistance here and we have here a set of pentacles understanding what is this the path that's going to take you towards your dreams what is it you want like somebody shared one time with me this meditation is called death meditation is like when you look at life when you need to make a decision you imagine yourself basically on a deathbed when you're like 100 years old and looking back what would you regret so it's oh, what what you know how would from that perspective the situation look like would it even matter would it not matter would it matter why what would you say so this is this type of energy here understanding from that perspective what is it really matters what is really matters Let's see how the situation will possibly, you know, uh, develop here. We have here Ace of Cups. There's an opportunity for new love. Seven of Wands, given that people let go of their guard. The star, let go of what you like and what this person think is right or wrong and let the universe kick in, let the universe do its magic. Three of Wands, for some of you, there will be again a new opportunity for, um, new foundation travel also seven of cups and three of uh seven of cups and six of, six, six of pentacles letting go of any kind of false ideas false beliefs false energies of this relationship sharing equally circuitry circuitry is important don't give too much don't just take too much being a circuitry energy giving and receiving letting go of also this five of swords energy any conflicts any ego type of you know scenarios 
Also, I feel like somebody here needs to abandon an idea that the prince in shining armor or princess in shining armor will save them. Nobody, you know, is there to just save somebody. Yes, we can help each other, we can heal each other, but it's our responsibility to save ourselves. You know, you cannot just uh, expect that another person will see through all your darkness. And it's probably, I'm not even talking to you, but to them, um, see through all your darkness and just go and figure out what you want and how you want. Let's take one last card. I have a feeling there is a possibility to restart this relationship from scratch and really go to where it needs to be. But it's really difficult because there's a lot of work needs to be done here. Nine of Swords, because the thing is, there is this paranoia, there is this, you know, fears. Ten of Swords as well, because what happens here is that, you know, if you worry so much with the kind of manifestation ability you have right now, it's going to come to an end if you're not going to let go of this worries. The worries will become reality if you don't let go. You have to let go, the hanged man. See? One last card, we close the reading. Page of Swords. Communicate clearly. Find clarity. You know, find clarity. Maybe also ask your friends for help. Three of Pentacles at the bottom. Communicate clearly. When I say communicate clearly, this is not about just talking to another person. This is just watch your own thoughts, watch your own impulses, like every time. And this is something I'm doing right now because I have a major, you know, also transformation process. Every time a thought comes, try to examine where it's coming from. Is it coming from the light? Is it coming from your higher self? Or is it coming from your reactive self, from the pain, from the fear? Observe it. Even just by observing it, you're already making a difference. You're already not letting certain thoughts in. Let's take the one card for Angel Answer. And we close this reading. Oh. Ask your angels. Really ask your angels to help you. If you feel like you are down, ask them to elevate you. If you feel like you don't know the answer, ask them to help you find this answer. If you feel like you don't have the strength, ask them to give you the strength. So really, really work on it. And I feel like there's a really a possibility also of this relationship to transform, to change. Things don't have to stay the way they are right now. Things have come full circle. There is possibility of a new beginning given if you follow angelic influences around you anyway Pisces, thank you so much for watching we are doing 40 day uh, 40 day soulmate meditation with me on um, uh, on my instagram i will try to do come live every day but even if i'm not live i have your names and if you want to send me your name you can send me your name i'll be scanning the names i'll be keeping you in my prayers and my meditations this is 40 days of faith you know, and I talked about it already, but to participate, you need to really let go of idea of a soulmate in your head. Let's say if you have John and you think that John is your soulmate, forget about John for a while and don't focus on bringing John into your life, but focus on bringing your twin flame soulmate into your life. So chances are that whoever the person is, if John is, he will be in your life. If John is not your soulmate, but you know, more of a karmic lesson, he will also be removed from your life. So. If you're interested, please join. You can follow me on Instagram. It's Astro in Wonderland. Thank you so much for watching. If you need to watch, help, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.